Let's look at a way to add a, a link from your mobile site back to the main site, your, whether it's your blog, um, an HTML page, a client's blog, a client's HTML page, whatever. Uh, it's all basically the same principle. So let me just show you how that would work. So here I'm on the Enrico Pizza uh, demonstration site, the one I used for the tutorial. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, first of all, let me just show you where, what it looks like at the moment. So if I come down to the preview uh, screen, you see at the moment down here, I've got five icons. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another icon here that's going to redirect back to the main site. So all I need to do, I just need to click Add New, either here or when I have the list of pages. And this is going to be added to the Enrico Pizza site, so I've put it there. I know it wants to be the, the last one, so I know that it's number six. And I'm just going to call this Enrico Main Site. And I'm going to use this as a redirect back to the main site. So what I'm going to do to get, because I'm using icons, I want to put in the page type of, um, I could do this with the normal vertical menu as well if I was using vertical menus. The same principle would apply. So if I put here, go to main site, and I'm just going to put that in the top bar title as well, just in case I later change this layout to be uh, using top bars. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the icon. I'm going to find, I've got a house icon, so that's, that's like a home icon, so let's use that one. Um, that's it. That's all I want for the moment. Now, down here, where we have the redirect, I've added some extra features for you. So, if you had a blog and you wanted to redirect just to the home page of that blog, so if you were using Easy Mobile Site Generator, on the same blog as you have for your main blog, then you could just click this button and it would enter the URL of the home page of your blog. In this case, I'm doing this on easy mobile site generator.com and in a folder called tutorial. So the home page of my blog here is, is that. It may be that instead of that, you're wanting to redirect to a client site. So it might be something like um, HTTP colon slash slash Enrico's pizza parlor dot com so that might be their their home site now what you want to do if you redirect them back to the home site you will probably have a script on that site that is redirecting mobile users to your mobile site now, you don't want them stuck in a loop going from the mobile site to the main site, back to the mobile site, back to the main site again. So there has to be a way of overriding that. So we added in something here. So if you just click here, add redirect to the URL. And what it's done is added this little piece of code here, easy mbred equals n. It's telling the script that's on the site that you're sending the mobile user back to not to redirect it back to the mobile site. If I didn't have that on there, if I just had that, when we got to enriquezpizzaparlor.com, if there was a mobile redirect script on there, it would send them back again to the mobile site. So I put a, a redirect on there to override that. Now, for the situation where you might have a more complicated URL than, than I have there, let me just make a one up for you. Uh, maybe you've got something like, um, slash index dot php question mark half equals one two three four so something that has an affiliate link or something like that now to get the, the mobile redirect to work on there instead of putting that question mark in it's going to be added to the end of that with an ampersand so in that case you would use this button here which is add redirect override to the url with question mark and parameters. So this is a URL with question mark already in there and parameters. So you click that and you can see on the end there it's added the correct thing and it's added the ampersand there which is needed 
when you've got more than one parameter on a URL. So you've got the two ways to do it. If you've got a plain URL that you're adding it to, click this one here. If you've got a complicated URL that's already got parameters added to it, then click this button here and it adds it with the ampersand. So it does all of that for you uh, automatically like that by pressing these buttons. If you wanted to, you could actually do all of this manually. You do, all you need to do is take any URL and add that part there at the end. Depending on whether there was already URLs, uh, already parameters on it or not, if there's no parameters on it, you just add question mark. That tells it this is the first of the parameters. If there are already parameters there, then you put the ampersand. But if you just put the URL that you're wanting to redirect to into this box first, and then use whichever of these two buttons apply, then it, Easy Mobile Site Generator will work it out for you automatically. So let me just reset all of this. Um, so I've done that now. So it's now got a redirect. Once I have that redirect in there, then all I have to do is just publish this one. And if I just go back to my current site and look at the Enrico Pizza main site page, I find that I have an extra icon. I have an extra icon there. Go to main site, and when a, a mobile user clicks, uh, presses that icon, then they would go back to your main site.